The farm designer page on the web application is the most fun part of controlling and configuring your farm bot. So this is where you graphically design your garden layout and then FarmBot can use uh, the locations of all your plants to, to grow your garden. So you'll see on the screen here that we have a green plants tab and a maroon farm events tab. Uh, the plants tab is a list of all of the plants that are in the garden. You'll see on the right that we have a, a brown map that is representative of the uh, area of your real farm bot. Uh, this map is rendered to the size of, of the X and Y axes as uh, displayed in the device page. Uh, so once you do your calibration or you enter in uh, manually the values for the X and Y axis lengths, uh, the farm map will display according to that size. The map has small squares on it and each square is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters in size and the larger squares are 10 of those smaller squares, so 100 by 100 millimeters in size. And for a default farm bot, your map will be about 15 by 30 large squares in size, which would be uh, 1.5 by 3 meters. There's a menu on the right side of the screen, which allows you to zoom in and out of the map, and also turn on and off the various layers of the map, which we'll get into in a little bit. But first, we'll want to set our origin of our map. So depending on your perspective of your farm bot, you may want your origin, your virtual origin, to be in the top left, the bottom left, the bottom right, or the top right. And so you can use the, the little map here to toggle between uh, where your origin is uh, in this map. So that's, that's representative of the home position or 000. zero, zero. You can also uh, rotate the, the map 90 degrees, again, depending on what your perspective to your farm bot normally is. It, do, you, do you view it from the side or from the front, the back or the left? So let's go ahead and get our first plants in the virtual garden. To do that, navigate to the plants panel and press the green plus button on the bottom of the panel. Here we're going to first choose a species or a crop that we're going to grow. So we're gonna be searching the Open Farm database, which is available at openfarm.cc, where you can also add additional crops if, if something that you want isn't showing up. But there's quite a bit in there. So let's just go forth and get a uh, search for carrots. And you'll see uh, that a bunch of different results show up, including uh, you know, just standard carrots here. You click that and you'll see a basic description of the crop along with a photo and some basic crop information and also an icon if we've made one uh, available. Uh, to plant this carrot into the virtual map, you simply drag and drop and you'll see the icon show up and you can let go wherever you want the, the carrot to land. So let's go ahead and plant a few carrots here in a little grid. Then if you need to edit the location of any of these plants, you can go ahead and click on them, press the edit button, and you can either delete it or you can drag it around and relocate it. You'll see that uh, we're rounding the location of the plants to the nearest uh, 10 millimeters because normally we don't need to, we don't want to put our plants closer than, than, one, than 10 millimeters together. And so uh, that is the, the closest that we're able to space stuff. You'll see that uh, this plant has the info that it was started right now. Um, so that's when we're putting it in the ground. In the future, you'll be able to specify when you want this plant to start. And so you can apply your regimens to this crop and they'll, they'll grow uh, based on some future date. Uh, so that would allow you to plan your garden into the future. But right now, if you want to put carrots in the ground, you should kind of do it all at once. You'll see that when I selected the plant, uh, there is this green uh, circle around it. This green circle is uh, showing the spread of this crop. So the spread is the maximum size that this crop is expected to grow. And that's useful for helping you plan your garden. Note that we have a default spread value um, in case Open Farm doesn't have spread information in its database. And once we add a few carrots in here, you can go back to the menu for the farm designer and turn on spread, and it will show the spread for all of the crops at once. But sometimes that can be a little bit messy, and so you might want to turn it on or off depending on what you're trying to do. You can see that we have quite a bit of overlap with our carrots here, so we're going to actually go in 
and spread them out a little bit more so that they're not overlapping as much. Again, you'll need to press the edit button for each of these so that you don't accidentally move the locations of any of your crops um, just by clicking around the map. You have to explicitly go in and edit stuff. And so now you'll see in the all plants tab that uh, we have our carrots in here. So let's go ahead and add a few more crops uh, just so that we can see, th see some things going. We'll add a uh, potato. And we'll put that over here off to the side. And so you can see now in our uh, plants list, we have all of our different plants there. And if you want to, you can type into this search box here in order to filter your plants list and only show things that match your search term. That way you can more quickly find a plant in case you want to delete it or uh, move its location or find it on the map. You'll also notice on the map that we have displayed the tools uh, in your FarmBot system. So you'll see according to the coordinates in the tools page, all the different tools and you can mouse over them and, and there's a little uh, text there that indicates which tool is in that location so that you don't go accidentally planting plants right where your tools are located because that's not that's not going to grow well and you're going to have difficulty getting the seed injector to that location so it helps you again plan out your garden according to the physical constraints of your farm bot so now that we have these plants virtually uh, planted, we'll need to uh, schedule some sequences and regimens so that FarmBot is instructed to actually put the seed in the ground and water it. So we'll go to the Farm Events panel and we're going to uh, add a new event. So we'll press the plus button. So let's select our Grow Carrot Regimen from the dropdown and we'll schedule it to start uh, five minutes from right now. And we'll save that. So now you can see in the events list that our Grow Carrot Regimen is going to start in five minutes and you can see all of the regimen items associated with that regimen. So now you can see in the events list that our Grow Carrot Regimen is going to start. So you can see all of the different sequences that were part of that regimen, including first the seeding sequence and then all of the watering sequences that were scheduled every other day to run at 8.30 a.m. Uh, and so you can go in here and continuously add more and more regimens and sequences and eventually you'll end up with a full uh, kind of itinerary for FarmBot to follow each and every day in order to take care of the entire garden and all of the plants in it. At any time you can click one of these events and you'll be taken to uh, back to the edit farm event tab and you can edit uh, which sequence it's using or uh, change the time that it runs, etc.